It is exhausting, but it's also a very big honor. I'd be lying if I didn't say it wasn't exhausting. You know, I think I slept maybe three hours last night, and uh, I didn't really sleep in the van on the way here. But we have this belief, and I speak for all the guys I'm traveling with, and the majority of the people I'm on tour with, we believe that us being on stage isn't something that we deserve or something that we've earned or something that should be given to us. We believe that it is an absolute privilege. Everything could change tomorrow. And the fact that we have this opportunity to stand on a stage and people care enough to come out is a complete honor and privilege for us. If you're gonna spend your time and energy to make your way to me, I'm gonna meet you halfway. Today is, could, could quite possibly be like one of the best tour days you could ever ask for. Part of being on the road, you, you beat yourself up quite a bit. We're not in a nightliner, we're traveling in a van, and there's eight of us, and all of our gear crammed in this van. Not very comfortable. We have zero days off, 21 shows straight on this run, which is, we asked for it, you know, that's the way we like it, we prefer it that way. You know, so there's momentum there, but today it's a little bit different. It's been a busy day press-wise. We've been, I've been doing a bunch of different interviews and some photo shoots and some other things. We had a friend come down who is a masseuse to work on my hands and my, my elbow and some of the other guys' uh, injuries. And we have a barber who's <laughs> gonna cut some people's hair. So things like this don't happen every day on tour. You know, the blessing and the curse of being on the road is you never know what's around the corner. You never know what's, what's coming next. Most of the time we're moving extremely fast sometimes even faster than is maybe healthy to travel. It can be dangerous, it can be risky. We're traveling on average anywhere from five to seven, eight hours per day. It's pretty common for uh, bands to find themselves in accidents. It's also common for bands to become targeted from thieves. It's happened to you or you've heard about, you know, a band getting all of their gear stolen or, or having their van stolen or their trailer stolen. And this is a very common thing. One of the biggest downfalls about it is being away from our loved ones. You know, some of us are on the road for months and months at a time, and it can be really, really discouraging to kind of always be in and out. And, you know, family life can suffer, relationships can suffer, and it's always a struggle. But there can be a lot of upsides to it as well. It can lead you to an absolute beautiful place that makes you forget about all of the rough patches. You can walk around the corner, come face to face and meet someone that could become a lifelong friend. You know, for me, it led me to my wife. It led me to the woman that I never in a million years thought I would ever find. It led me to this person that I was born to be with. Through all those rough times that I went through in, you know, living a life on a road, living out of a bag, sleeping on floors, and just abusing my body, if I would have done anything differently, I may not have ended up on this path and have found her and ended up in the place that I'm in now. Come middle of May, I'm going to be a daddy. And uh, this, is, this is new. <laughs> so it's going to be a completely different world for me uh, when it comes, and my wife as well, when it, when it comes to uh, traveling. I probably won't be traveling as much anymore. I, I'm going to do my best not to be an absent father, an absent daddy. And uh, this day is coming very soon. You know, we're all growing older. Life changes and it's changing in a beautiful way and it's time, time for uh, the next chapter of our life.